Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, ventilation system and uh, how I did build mine. And I'm going to show you how uh, basically to do it uh, the cheapest way and get all this toxic fume out of your way. So uh, stick around, don't go away. Uh, my name is Eli Ganim and welcome to EGTU Lapinas. Okay, so uh, let's start here to just show you what I have. I got two area that I need ventilation for. Um, one is the casting area and then the uh, the next one is the soldering station. So right here I have my uh, casting area. Uh, I have the the uh, oven here. I get the vacuum system and here I get the uh, melter and uh, well I'll, I'll get you in here later on uh, to show you close up. Uh, down here I have my uh, my area where I do my soldering. So let's get a closer look on what I have. Okay like I said I have here the uh, furnace and this is going to be for the burnout. So if I have a burnout uh, right here, uh, I need all the the air and the smell and the smoke to go out. This is the vacuum area. Here where I melt my uh, uh, silver. Uh, I could use the uh, electronic uh, uh, melter or I could usually I use this one also uh, using the torch. So this is one area here. The other area which is now uh, the soldering area here uh, that I have I got my uh, torches down here now I want to show you this one here this is it's a small fan uh, with filter in it and I also use this one here see that uh, it will suck the air or the fume in through the filter and it comes out um, is it good uh, not really, because even though it takes the uh, the fume away from you, so you don't breathe them, but it get them exhausted on the other side. So uh, it helps just a little bit, but it's not a real thing that uh, it will help you. So from this point, I needed to have a system that will do both at the same time. So it will do my um, soldering area also my casting area which you could see like both of them are close to each other so what I did if you look up here we got a close-up and you could see that I have a stove hood that I got uh, it's used but I got it and says okay that will help now from this point I need to get it to go all the way to my soldering area. So I have, as you could see here, I have a pipe going out that's connected with the T, as you could see right there. So on the uh, left hand side of the T, where all the exhaust air is going to go out <clears throat> and is going to go through the window here uh, so outside and I'm going to show you what I did with this one here on the right hand side it goes to my <clears throat> it goes through my uh, uh, soldering area however in order to get the air if if the air is going out from this pipe here all the way out I want it to go just straight out towards the window now I don't want it to go back into uh, the soldering area so what I did if you look uh, at this point here what I have 
the tape right there in between them there is actually uh, inline fan and the inline fan is directed this way so now when the air comes up from here it will go towards the fan try to suck it out towards the window same <coughs> the air coming from the other side from the um, the soldering station so everything goes you know with the help of the inline fan it will direct it to the window okay the hood here is regular uh, over the stove hood that you have I got this one is it's a used one that I got and it works uh, really good it has two speed uh, fan so I could use the other one and it has a light in it which is great now on the let's go back to the uh, area where I have my soldering area and as you could see up here there is this five gallon bucket that I have and I, I built this one there's a fan inside right there you could see it there's a fan inside that will actually suck the air in and let it go out through this pipe here so you could see the pipe let me point it at here this is the pipe where it takes the air out so the fan will suck the air in the bucket get it out from here now if you look at this area here it's only two and a half inch diameter so it's kind of uh, small for the actual uh, main pipes are all four inches so <clears throat> it does restrict the air going out uh, from this area so this is going to be changed and I'm going to have it uh, uh, a four inch let me give you a closer look Okay, so that's going to be a 4-inch diameter hole that uh, it will get the air exhausted into a 4-inch uh, diameter pipe. Now, so when this fan works, it just actually it will suck the air uh, of whatever I'm doing uh, down here. So if I'm doing any soldering, uh, that thing, it will just suck it right up and get it into uh, the main line that I have connected right there see so it's connected here and here you got an elbow right there and then it goes into here this four inch pipe and it goes all the way out to the other side here here now it's connected to the T that we talked about before. It has the inline fan directed towards the window outside. Now the window is basically I had a broken window which was glass. So I took the glass off and what I did is I put a quarter inch plexiglass that I put it in that window uh, I opened, uh, made a hole in it, put the pipes, and on the outside of that, I'm going to get a closer look so you could see it. From you could see the vent on the other side of the glass which is it's like an air vent for the dryer uh, that I use this way you don't get any rain going in or any animals okay so it's an easy one uh, to do uh, one thing I want to just uh, mention that here I get an elbow actually in the whole system I get a couple of elbows remember like if you can do it straight out with no elbows it will be much better because it will not uh, you won't have any restriction or air restriction air flow restriction going out so this way it would be much better for me I didn't want to cut the joist to get it straight out so uh, that's why I got the elbow okay so to recap everything so here I got the 
two areas where I need uh, the ventilation going out from. Uh, I have the far end, which is my uh, my uh, southern area, which is this one here, and then I have the second area that I need to do is here. That's the casting area. They're both connected together. comes the hood connected with a T on the top and from there it's going all the way out to the window and outside well I hope you like that video and that will help you out to build your own I mean all the parts that uh, um, I got is just from a hardware store uh, and put it together and uh, the biggest expense I think was the uh, the hood uh, but that was a used one that I got in and I just put it on so I hope that will help you out and <clears throat> don't forget to subscribe uh, now you got that uh, picture of mine the round uh, picture of mine at the end if you click on it you'll be able to subscribe to my YouTube uh, channel so until next time have a great day